Hi guys, great surprise here. I'm so excited to unbox the Galaxy Fold. All drama aside, I think you should reward companies who try something new. And I haven't been this excited for a product since the HP touchpad or the first touch devices. This is a new form factor, touch screen, the portability of a phone and a tablet in your pocket. So let's get right to unboxing this and setting this up. All right, look at this Galaxy folding on itself. Couldn't be any more literal. I heard it comes with the Galaxy Buds right here, bites. All right, so let's jump into this. Cut that out. First shot. Take that out. And this is a new panel, according to all the news articles. Care instruction. Do not press on the screen with a hard or sharp object. When folding the device, do not place any objects such as cards, coins, keys on the screen. The device is not water or dust resistant. Do not attach any adhesives such as films or stickers to the main screen or remove the top protective layer. And your device contains magnets, so keep a safe distance. Alright, and let's take this out for my first time. Ta-da! Now I've noticed that the case isn't already installed on this. I thought it was. We got the black version over here. Okay. So put this aside. And fold your future. Fold Premier Service. This is Fold Concierge, 24 hours a day. One year screen replacement for the lovely price of $149. <laughs> that looks like a charging port over there. Let's get started. It has a wireless power share, just like the Note 10 and the S10 Plus. Terms, conditions, eh, never read that. And the case. So we'll put on this case later after we set this up. Okay, so open up and you get a little eject tool. So hold it held together. This is for one side, that's for the other. I'm gonna put these on ASAP, but let me play with it. It's full story, my car got broken into and someone stole my white Galaxy Buds. All right, USB-C, or these tips. These look like the tips for your Galaxy Buds. Fast charging, a USB to USB-C. Okay, so let's recap what came in the box. First, your fold, and I haven't folded this yet. I'm so excited to set it up. You get your Buds, USB charging ports, you get the case, along with a bunch of disclosures about the AT&T Premier service. Let's get this baby set up. All right, and now let's set this up. Okay, this is my first. This is my favorite part. Come off. Nice, gently. And there you go. And there you have it. My first Galaxy Fold. Benji Beauty. Let's fold her in half the first time, the first crease. And beautiful. Wow. Now I think we should set this up with it open. And that's a very tough spring. This crease, you're gonna have to live with it. That's just the way it is with this new tech. Galaxy Fold. I think it will, the crease looks worse in lighting. Okay, looks like we got the Wi-Fi set up there. We've signed in with our Google account over here. But don't restore because this is a brand new device. Let's do a little pin here. Great, all right, setting up that. Am I wearing glasses right now? Yes, I am. Let's continue there. Let's set this up. point guys they probably have all my information already let's get that for now great welcome to your galaxy fold let's check out its unique features start small go big magnets okay and finally finally guys we're in all right guys so as we set up the phone more let's do a walkthrough this is the Galaxy Fold. Now let's look at the bottom. Beautiful animation there. 
you have the USB-C port right on the bottom. It almost looks like a Galaxy S10, um, two of them together. You see that hinge, a little protective um, T plastic piece they put there to stop people from peeling off the protector on the screen. Some speaker grills. Let's go on this side over here. This is your um, SIM card. Another grill for speakers on this side. Okay, that's your microphone. And on this side, you have the volume rocker and you have just a little divot here. Divot, I don't think actually is a button. It doesn't do anything. All right, and you have your power button here. Notice there's no Bixby. Now let's flip over. A little bit of fingerprint magnet, but uh, you see the camera grills. So you have your telephoto, regular camera, and your wide angle lens. And let's close this and kind of see together. All right, and just like that, you have your front camera. Now, as I've seen in other reviews, it doesn't really do it justice um, to double tap open the screen to see the quality of the screen. It's a very workable screen. It looks like a mini uh, just Samsung Galaxy device. So I'm pretty stoked about it because you still have access to all the powerful cameras on the back. So I can take a quick photo over here. Love the ultra wide lens. Snap that. We'll have to do a little iPhone photo later, but you have all the sub menus. You have the full phone on here. So um, we can shoot a quick text if we wanted to. And you have the swipe keyboard as usual, so hello. This keyboard on the front screen is great. Very workable. Worthwhile, that note. Let's go back home. So that's the front screen. I think that if I'm one-handed, I'm surprised it's even thinner. We have the, the iPhone Pro over here. And even one-handed, it's pretty wide. You haven't had something this thin since the iPhone 5. And I'm gonna like this because I can finally text and I can reach all the way in the corners again. Okay, so now that we have all the outsides, let's don the case while we're at it. All this while it's open. If I'm Sam, I need to just snap on just easily like that. There you go. And this side here. It's a fingerprint magnet, sorry about that. What can you do? Oh, I noticed there's some plastic sticky pieces here. I don't want it permanent, so I'm just gonna put it haphazardly, just for show right now, folks. So, there you go, and you get this nice little fold mechanism. All right, so that's the front screen. Does the front screen work while you have it open? Looks like it's completely disabled, okay? Okay, let's flip it over. Adding this case, it's a very nice texture. It's included in the box, so I don't have to worry about buying a case, and you're not supposed to put a screen protector. So I'm ready to go with this device. Let's unlock this phone, all right? So what I've noticed right away, you can swipe down. This is just Android. Can't wait to get the latest Android updates, but it ignores it in the camera area. Um, home buttons are everything to the right. I'm sure I can go into settings and make it left-handed, but I'm right-handed. Swipe left, oddly for Bixby. You swipe right, and one thing I noticed, there's a little dock right here. So if you swipe that way, you get your dock of apps, kind of like the Note series when it had that little edge screen. And there you go. You have this tray of multi-windows, and that's pretty great. And you have all these apps that are pre-installed. Haven't set it up completely yet, but let's jump into YouTube. And when you launch it from the tray, notice it opens up in this side view area. So you have split screens, finally, but if I rotate it, we'll auto-rotate, and there you go. So you notice that for the fold, it unfolds this way, kind of portrait mode, but since you have a fully tablet mode, I'm gonna find myself using it this way a lot, um, the landscape mode. So let's go into the full YouTube app. All right, let's do that again. Full YouTube app there, great. Video is here, this is our little Ultra wide photo shoot. Great. I like watching videos this way. Surprising results on which one is more immersive in its wide range of features. And lastly, we'll do a photo shoot, just general photos across. See how the volume goes. See which one comes out in terms of sharpness and clarity. That's and adding some light commentary. Nice. So let's jump right. How dark it was. We were in a pitch black basement. All right. So let's get out of the hair. Now you notice you can. Full screen videos here, all right, and it'll auto rotate this way. And if I minimize it, 
it's gonna have this UI. Now they talked about continuity, so let's go into continuity mode. So that means some apps that I launch here should be able to be opened up and used. What was? Okay, not now. Play that. That is a terrible way to watch a video. Oh wow, this looks like. All right, so terrible way to watch. While you're at it, so small. The bright colors, okay. and sharpness, the camera improvements. Now, let's full screen Apple this. Made, and we're gonna <laughs> later to full screen the on the mini screen in front. Shots. That's hilarious. For now, All right, let's go back here. It says you can pinch out to zoom in. Let's see that one more time. <laughs> there you go. Now it's zoomed in, right? No. All right. So let's open this. Is we have to compare Beautiful. It kind of see where Continuity. Google worked with Samsung to get this right. Alright, same thing. And you have but for now, there. those panorama I'm going to ignore this. I'm really usually not challenged. Cool. It's not going to bother me. Um, and we'll do an iPhone Pro so um, 11 Pro comparison to the Galaxy right, Fold. We, let's find another one. I think uh, I trust Google native apps. Uh, we'll see if other uh, um, developers start to support this. Let's say I want to go to Krispy Kreme because it's coffee day. Great, there's a Krispy Kreme near here. Take me to directions. Good to go. Got it. All right, now I'm driving. Boom, boom. And now I want to open this up. And voila, continuity, just like that. That's an amazing feature. I love it a lot. Um, all the multitasking features, as you guys are familiar with, probably the Note series, they all exist here. Um, and again, that tray, this tray here allows you to multi-window. I'm wondering if there's various ways you can get through that. Can I? There you go. If you hold the app, you can drop it here to so open it there. Then you have these options to make it full screen. Or it looks like you have that one there and it will, I'll open this and I can make a little window in window, I have my multiple apps there and let's say I open Google Maps at the same time now you have two windows on top of another and it was not that useful on smaller phones but for this phone it is and again I always am finding myself using this phone in landscape mode where I'm folding it this way I have to get a little more used to this guys because it's not like windows where you can like snap it yet um, but for those who are more familiar with larger screens are actually using this because even when I had Android I didn't use it too much to be honest it's double screen um, It'd be pretty useful. Now, I need to set this up more. Let's get this out of here. Boom, bye. I'm pretty sure you can change the keyboard if you'd like, but this is a very comfortable typing style. This is a great typing experience. Awesome. Okay, but can I swipe from here? Can? Yes, you can. Now, at this point, it's not that useful because it's too big. I can't do it. Can I? Swipe from this keyboard. At that point, I'm not getting it 100% correct. It's pretty far. There's no stylus support. This is a very sensitive screen, as you know. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can still draw freely, just like that. Again, no sharp objects on this. I'm going to be very cautious. So, I think that about wraps it up. All right, so there you have it. The Galaxy Fold. Unboxing, setup, and initial walkthrough, um, first impressions. Man, this thing's pretty cool. It has a lot of potential. We're gonna have to compare it to the iPhone Pro Max um, camera comparison in later videos, and look forward in a few days for the full review on this. Again, I'm so excited uh, to have this. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it open because I don't wanna have the crease. Um, and I know, as a first adopter, that you have to be very cautious with these types of devices. So um, I'm going to be gentle with it. I know it's a premium device. Uh, I'm just very proud that Samsung is bringing this technology to the market and we'll see what competitors follow. All right, guys. So that's our first impressions. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Thank you so much. And we'll give you more tech reviews shortly. All right. Have a great day, everyone.